We are loaded up. I have Jeff and Nicole back there. We are going to go to Oregon Pipe Cactus <laughs> I get on our, um, Trail. National Monument. Yes, it's about 30 minutes away. We have Bruce, Jimmy, and Rady over there. And then Chuck and Jake are going as well. They're getting all situated. I don't know if you have a radio. Yeah, I do. We, we are on channel 17. My radio. <laughs> <laughs> Should have brought mine. <laughs> we are going to the town of Y. There's a campground there. You said it's three hundred dollars a year. Yeah, I think that's what. That's some cheap rent right there. Yeah, no hookups. No hookups. Ugh. So the reason why this yeah. town is named Y is because I was told, anyways, by Jimmy that they, the road split in the Y and they tried to name the town the letter Y, but you had to have, that's the Tucson right there. You actually had, it couldn't be just one letter. I think it had to be three letters, so. The only gas station. The only, only gas restaurant. station? <laughs> 389 here, so. And now we're leaving Y. <laughs> and that's it with Y. But yeah, back to the story. So there was a road in the town that had a Y, and anyways, they had to have three letters, so they just ended up calling it Y, W-H-Y. Why, why did you name it that? Anyways, <laughs> so they, um, then after they got the name town, not the name town, the, the town, town name. named, they um, actually changed the road, or they um, had some construction and had to change the road, so the town doesn't even have a Y in the road anymore. And that's the story of why. I hope you enjoyed it. The story was longer than the town. I know, right? <laughs> Oregon Pipe Cactus National Monument. Okay. This definitely should be called Saguaro Cactus instead of Oregon. We've seen one Oregon Pipe Cactus. That's it. That's all the other one. So the Saguaro are the tall ones with maybe uh, a couple arms. Some don't have arms. It takes like 70 years for them to develop arms. Those are organized. Oh, yeah. The, the, whole bunch of the ones with the whole bunch of stalks or stems coming out, like, you know, multiple. There's That's the organ pipe. So we've seen two. Oh, my God. Another year later, we finally made it to the visitor center. <laughs> Ooh, that was a long trek. Ooh, look at that crazy one right there. That thing has a lot of arms. Yeah, the side, which one? I know. See, organ pipe. I thought it was organ, like the state, but it's organ, like a organ that you play. That makes way more sense than the state of Oregon. <laughs> <laughs> no overnight parking. Beep. Oh, they have a couple right here at the visitor center. This visitor center was named after one of the rangers that passed away, Chris Eggle, I believe. Here's some information if you want to pause and read. In 2007, a vehicle barrier was completed to deter um, crossing border traffic. And more information if you want to pause and read. Okay, I've got to find an uh, organ pipe button, or actually a pin. I'm, I stopped doing stickers, they just, I have nowhere to put them right now, so. I could put them back at the property, on the shipping container. Ooh, save 50%. What skeleton is this of? Is that the, um, Tawaro. okay. That's pretty cool. Okay, so. That was pretty cool. I ended up getting a sticker because I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do stickers on the door of the shipping container instead of trying to put them on my rig and stuff. That way when I'm at the property and the door's open, I can just see all the stickers. Not sure what that is, but this is the Oregon pipe, Oregon pipe, Oregon pipe. I gotta get that right. Mr. Saguaro back there. So the ranger was telling me the reason why they opened the park is because when these cactus became popular in movies and stuff, people wanted to decorate their yards with them, but they didn't want to wait a hundred years plus to for it to grow 
obviously, because, you know, they wouldn't be around to see it. But anyways, people were coming to the desert and they were taking, digging up the cactus and uh, transferring them and replanting them back at their property. So they um, actually opened this park to save the cactus and preserve all this beauty. Wow, so this trail is a quarter of a mile long. Oh, how pretty, they have water features here. Oh, there's pup fish in here. Hmm. See if we see anything. I don't see anything. That's beautiful. Waiting for more than just shade. These actually thrive and they need the heat. So they do really well here. They do have the seeds of the Oregon pipe cactus, but just to get like three inches tall or three feet tall, maybe that was, it takes like 20 years. So yeah, I don't want to wait that long. So I will not be buying those seeds, although it would be cool, but they need the heat. I don't think they do well in the snow. And I um, actually do get snow on the property, so that won't work for me. Waiting for the dark. So here is some of the wildlife here. I think that's a woodpecker. It is. The tortoise. And this is the little pack rat. Oh, pack rats. We got those on the property. Looks so cute. To choose all your vehicles wired. Cactus garden. Ooh, look at Pokey, but it does have fruit growing on it right now. Cactus fruit is usually edible. I'm not sure about that one. And I do have cactus growing on the property that is more, more cold tolerant. Waiting for a ride. So for thousands of years, humans have waited for the tasty sororo and organ pipe fruit to ripen every summer. So I guess it is edible. So these cactus are consistent and dependable producers of sugar and protein. Their seeds are dispersed by the animals and birds that also eat the fruit. Choya <laughs> are not so lucky. Their fruit is not very tasty. So that's the plant we just saw. That pokey one right there. Looks like that one's dying out. When they die, they leave a skeleton behind, which is pretty cool. Wow, that is one huge acotillo. Right, I think we're almost done with the trail. We're coming back up to the visitor center. Oh, look it, a barrel cactus, or I know, that's not a barrel cactus. It looks like it, but actually it's a, a baby saguaro, which is fruiting and edible. The skeleton of the organ pipe isn't as interesting as the choya, but it's still pretty cool. See, this is what the choya cactus skeleton looks like. So beautiful. Oregon pipe loop. This is a fee area. You have to have the national park fee or pass, or you have to pay the fee. And no vehicle over 25 feet in length can be on this. It's like a 22 mile loop. Look everybody, we've got dust, rocks, and cactus. Welcome to the desert. The mountains in the distance are beautiful. I love the rock formations. There's no trees on them, so you can see all the different colors. So in the distance, the rock formations I was talking about are the Ajo Mountains, and they are at 4,800 feet elevation. Oh, there's two more, or three, four. I was gonna say, we haven't seen many Oregon pipe, but yeah, there's a there's several in there. Your phone said what? Welcome to Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> no service for 19 miles. So you better have gas. 
Oh, it's nice through here. A lot of cactus. But mainly just the saguaro. And the choya. Yeah, a lot of choya. Halfway through the drive, there is a trailhead, so we're probably going to stop and take a look around, maybe do a little hiking. Wow, look at all the saguaro. We're getting closer to the mountain. Now we're starting to see some more organ pipe and larger ones too. That one's pretty big right there. Look at that. Oh, there's two of them. The hunt for Oregon pipe. They are real pretty when they start getting big and multiple arms on them. This is the Diablo Canyon picnic area. It's pretty cool they have a picnic area. That must be the canyon down there. Oh, nice. They have paved some of the park. It's not all dirt road. But we do go up into the mountain. This is probably why they say only 25 feet. Oh, yeah, it gets very windy. But it's nice that it's paved. so beautiful through this part. That's pretty, the Ajo Mountains. Not sure if you can see it, but way up there is an arch. Prickly pear cactus. So we stopped. This is the first hike. And there is the arch up there. I think the trail is only a mile, less than a mile and a half. What is it? 1.2? 1.2 miles, 200 foot elevation gain. Oh wow, 200 foot elevation. That's longer. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think Everybody's I could climb doing that this thing. high up there. This hiking thing. 
That's why we got legs. Blast from the past, if you want to pause and read. There's the arch right there. All right. Let's do this. I didn't bring Moo Moo because they don't allow dogs on this trail, unfortunately. They do at the visitor center trail, but not this one. It's 1.2 miles round trip. It's easy to moderate and maintain. I don't even want to tell you about it. <laughs> Elevation only 200 feet. For the yeah. first half. To here. And from here, if we came back and did the hard part. No! The unmaintained trail can be strenuous with loose footing. Oh, look at right out there. It's a balancing rock. That's pretty cool. It's an awkward shaped rock too. Ooh. Gotta be careful on this trail. It's pretty rocky. The agave flower. That's what they make the didgeridoos out of. That one's pretty tall. This is a better angle of the rock. It kind of looks like a face from this angle. So wash here. And that is the peak that the arch is on. You can't see it from this side. We started back there. And here's a view of the canyon. It's so quiet back here. We're almost to the Arch Canyon Trail. All the vegetation and the rock formations here. Different colors in the rocks. Absolutely gorgeous. So I'm staying back with Rady. He's right there, just making sure he makes it. You should probably never hike by yourself. Not a good idea. Just in case something happens, you never know. All right, we've made it here to the Arch Trail. And it's not very well maintained and it goes up a mountain, so definitely should be more experienced if you're going to do this because you know the climb up is usually easier than the climb down you mean the roll down yeah the roll down <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rady, you, made it. you can see the arch right up there oh can you okay cool okay. oh yeah that's the top arch right well it's, it's both you can top it. like oh that wind wow. So it's just a little glimpse of it right there. No! 
No, Chuck, you go ahead. We'll wait for you. Can't even see you. I know, I see him. He's a little dot right there. <laughs> Go ahead, we'll wait for ya. <laughs> it oh, goes right up this, yeah, <laughs> this wash or canyon. And then I think you go around to the other side up here. It gets challenging right here. Well, look where they are. It's, it's pretty, like, it looks like big boulders and stuff. Yeah. I usually like a good challenge, but I'm good. I'm good. Oh, if you look right there, there's a little cave. Did you see the cave up there? By the big flat rock that looks like a cow turd? <laughs> There's lots of little caves. All right. Guess we'll sit and wait for them to come down. Be careful. Long part. Go back to California. <laughs> Look, there's a puddle of water in that rock. You're welcome. <laughs> Need a drink? Ugh. It's tinkle. Tinkle, tinkle. Well, we are almost back to the vehicles. <laughs> you watch what feels stick top. See that thing's still following you around there, Bruce. <laughs> oh yeah, another bike. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> You're not the last one, Rady. Mm -hmm. Banana bee seeds? Oh, you're taking film. Ma'am. Um, have you not heard you're not supposed to text and walk at the same time? <laughs> I was taking pictures. Uh-huh, sure, it sure looked and, like you were taking uh, pictures. I'm sending them. Oh. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Ew, food. <laughs> Yummy. Ooh. They have to be highly yeah. adaptable creatures. Yeah, donkeys survive. eat kind of anything. I actually saw a donkey with its head in a trash barrel when we were coming through Nevada. They're like billy goats, basically. Uh-huh, they billy eat anything. anything. Mm -hmm. Rubber tires. From Toya. <laughs> Toya bees eat? Actually, goats will not eat anything. They're called browsers, and they eat what deer eat. Mm. Yeah, but they drop them off on the side of the Thank you, Mr. They Professor. Eat the whole, they do. I raised goats. Lots of As them. I said, thank you, Mr. Goat Professor. I am. I used to be called... Oh, I won't say what I used to be called. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> You're filming. No. I used to run a pack goat for them. Oh, cool. Were they meat goats or were they... Meat goats, yes. Well, not the boar goats. No. Goat. No. Alpines, which are very large. Chuck eats a banana. And saunas, which are another really large one. Wow, was there a banana tree around here somewhere? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a whole thing of bananas. They're, they're from uh, five miles that way. Wow. <laughs> oh. Mexico. 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 Dukes. Yeah, Dukes. That's up. So we're just waiting on Chuck and Jake to make it back. They were the last ones because they went up to the arch. Okay, check and see if you see him. He's at the arch now. Jump up and down. <laughs> <laughs> is he in the is upper he in arch? The arch? Is he no. in the tiny little arch up there? There's something looks like something's moving in that little. Is he arch. hanging from the ceiling? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> Where? You see him? No. Literally looks like something. Look, there's a waterfall. In that arch. <laughs> I don't see him. He's messing with us. He's like 20 feet down the trail. Yeah, he's he's on the trail. <laughs> 
laughing at us yeah, all he's looking he's out there right like now. Yeah, he's Dumbass. sitting in his truck. <laughs> drinking a drinking a nice warm beer. Nope, still don't see you. Wait, see, I can't tell that I'm at the arch or not. It just says on the map I'm here. Oh. Well, is there an arch above your head or not? Yeah, he's <laughs> you can't, you um, can you see us? I can see where we parked. We're, We're sitting at the picnic table. <laughs> we'll bring the picnic Anybody table crawl around on rocks up there? Hmm. He said he's crawling around on rocks. So. What's he wearing? What color? Dark. Uh, he, he has a green really striped shirt, really uh, sweater on. Oh, yeah. What's he wearing? A green striped sweater. No, because I can see the rock up there. He's not up there. See, you can see the rocks the up rocket. there. The rocket? The rocket man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then there's... That's the small the, one? Yeah, oh, yeah, there's the big one. And there's just a rock, a lonely rock. Up there. So he was actually on this big peak right there, and I just saw him in the middle. So he's making his way over to the arch. This is why we don't follow him. Craziness. <laughs> he should be there soon. Tell him to jump up and down. He's over by the arches. Tell him to come down. <laughs> Jump up and down, and then um, get your squirrel suit on and fly down. Oh, I see him. Oh. Oh, no, Chuck, you're only halfway to you're the arch. You're near the arch. The arch is, like, more. Yeah. Are you talking way up there? Yeah, right oh, there. Oh, where the hell are there? Yeah, yeah, see him in the middle, yeah. right there? So, there's, he finally made it to the arch up there. <laughs> A small little dot. I think he's trying to find his way down. This is our route. We came where the visitor center and this is the loop. We go up this side and then come back around. Okie dokie. Well, Chuck made it down safely and Jake's with him now, so we're headed back. Someone lost some stuff. Look at the buck right there, or the deer. Cool. I hope y'all enjoyed it here at the Oregon Pipe National Park. I want to thank y'all for hanging out with us. Don't forget, if you want to subscribe or join Patreon, just click over here. If you want to watch some more videos, just click over here. Once again, thank you for joining us, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.